boys and girls. Happy Veterans Day. I'm so happy to see everybody wearing red, white, and blue today because today is a very special day. And every grade level is going to be doing something in your classrooms with your grade levels to learn a little bit more about Veterans Day. We have some veterans who are coming to our building to be visitors and guests in our classrooms today. We have the mayor and a member of the township committee who are going to come and speak to some classes today. We're going to be reading stories and doing activities in our classroom. And we're going to be watching a video together right now that Mr. Paul Garrett put together for us. Ooh, I'll wait for you. Yeah, because we want to have our most respectful behavior here and when our veterans and our guests are coming. Thank you, Angela, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're going to watch a video together this morning about Veterans Day, and teachers, Mr. Colbert, will share this link with you because there's a lot more to the video that you can show in your classrooms later today. We are also going together all say the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you are watching on the screen and you see the words, please stand, we're all going to all stand up together and say the Pledge of Allegiance together this morning, okay? And then I'm going to introduce you to a very special guest who's going to talk with you for a few minutes afterwards, okay? All right, let's watch it. You probably know that every year on November 11th, Americans celebrate Veterans Day to honor the millions of men and women who have served or are serving in the nation's armed forces. But bet you didn't know the whole story behind the holiday. For starters, it wasn't originally called Veterans Day, but Armistice Day to commemorate the truce signed between the Allies and Germany in World War I on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. The first Armistice Day in the U.S. was celebrated on November 11, 1919. All business was suspended for two minutes starting at 11 a.m., and parades and public gatherings were held to commemorate the occasion. And do you know the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day? Both of them honor those men and women who have served in the military, but Memorial Day honors America's war dead, while Veterans Day honors all American veterans, living and dead. In 1954, the name was changed to Veterans Day, following a national campaign to have the day honor all veterans, not just those who served in World War I. And did you know, for seven years, Veterans Day was actually celebrated in October? In 1968, Congress moved Veterans Day to the fourth Monday in October, so that government employees could enjoy a long weekend. But in 1975, President Gerald Ford returned Veterans Day to November 11th due to the historical significance. And that's where it sits on the calendar today. Later, America also began honoring its unknown soldiers on Armistice Day, a tradition that continues today. At 11 a.m. every Veterans Day, a color guard ceremony represents all branches of the military at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery. The U.S. Census Bureau estimates that there are currently over 21 million living military veterans in the United States. More than 16 million of these served during times of war, while 5.5 million served during peacetime only. So this Veterans Day, don't forget to say thanks to some of the millions of men and women who have served our country. Who here is, uh, as a mother, a father, 
sister, uncle, any sort of family member who's a veteran. Oh. Or a friend. Anyway. Okay. Alright, well, be sure to thank them today for, for their service. Um, but it's great to be here. It's an honor to be here. About, uh, let's see, 20 years ago? I don't know, a long time. I was sitting right here in your seat with one single dream, and that was to be a pilot. And now, fast forward, I've flown many different types of aircraft for the Air Force and the military, and I am a veteran. I'm currently in the reserves, which means I'm a part-time Air Force guy right now, but I just separated active duty, so that was my full-time job the past eight years. I've lived in many different states, been to many different countries. I have uh, been over to, well, flown over Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, but uh, let me talk to you a little bit about what it took to get to where, where I am today. Um, how, how many of you know what you want to do when you grow up? Wow, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I'll give you a few, uh, a few tips, uh, a few pointers to kind of uh, uh, stick to that course and you know what, your, your dreams will, will come true if you, if you work hard, uh, get good grades, alright? So I all started basically here. Um, I was sitting in the gym, you know, Mrs. Sombraker, she was my art teacher, I used to draw pictures of little planes, it was, it was just a dream of mine since, since I was your age. Uh, from there, I, uh, I graduated Applegate, went to Eisenhower, still worked hard in school, got good grades, um, kept drawing my planes. Uh, then I went to high school, and in high school, it really were, um, I only wanted to be a pilot, but high school kind of made me want to serve, give something back to my country, because uh, some of you weren't born yet, but September 11th happened when I was in high school. and. Uh, very bad people flew planes into the, uh, the World Trade Center, and uh, I just wanted to go basically serve my country and make, make sure that never happened again. So I went to college, studied hard, got good grades, still worked hard, and then after college, I, uh, I trained to be uh, an officer in college, which is basically a, a military a leader in the military. From there, I went to pilot training uh, in Oklahoma, and let me tell you, there are not a lot of trees out in Oklahoma. It's a lot different from New Jersey. Um, but uh, I worked hard, very hard for a year, a lot of studying, and very stressful. So I trained, uh, trained with tankers for, uh, for a little bit, and then I immediately deployed over to the, to the Middle East. Um, I have 137 combat missions over both Iraq and Afghanistan. And what I did was I refueled other airplanes who supported all of our guys on the ground fighting the bad guys. Um, it, was, uh, it was a big sacrifice. A lot of the veterans have uh, done many sacrifices, uh, as you'll see today. Uh, one of the biggest sacrifices, one of the hardest things in that was being away from your family, from friends, missing birthdays, missing holidays, but you know what, it was all worth it because families and friends would not be able to celebrate and enjoy themselves on holidays if it weren't for, for the veterans, you know, for, for us trying to, trying to stop the bad guys from keeping us from, from having our freedom and, and doing what we love to do. So that's, that's why you should thank the veterans today. Um, after after that, after finding KC-10s, I, I taught students how to, uh, how to fly for the Air Force. And that was an interesting job. Um, your teachers have a very, very important job. So, thank your teachers as well. Um, from there, I left the, uh, I, I decided that I was just getting, uh, kind of, you know, moving around a lot. And I left the uh, active part of the Air Force, and now I'm continuing to serve Reserves um, as as a pilot, and um, in summary, just keep working hard, listen to your teachers, thank your veterans, and uh, everybody that raised their hands today. Uh, just keep keep in mind if if you have a dream, if you want to be something when you grow older, stick to that dream and 
study, they do great, work hard, and, and they get there like I did. So you were interviewing with the uh, Delta Airlines. Uh, I'm trying to be an airline pilot. So, so we might see Scott Hatton and Scott Hoover on a flight. Maybe you go to Florida and you fly on a certain airline. You might be your pilot one day. And all the photos that he was talking about, we'll put on the, the Apple Game website. So when you go home tonight, you go on the Apple Game website, you click that links, and we'll have photos of Scott in his airplane. And uh, maybe he was a yearbook picture from when he used to be here at Apple Gate School. Okay, Let's hear you on the I want to introduce some of the people that are here with you to teach you and to help you learn a little bit more about Veterans Day. And this is our opportunity to say thank you to our veterans here at Greenville Township, okay? Are you ready to give a big, some big Apple Gate thank yous? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce these people and tell you a little bit about them, and then I would want everybody all together to say thank you. Can we do that? All right, let's try that. Let's first try it with Captain Scott Brayer from the U.S. Air Force. We have um, two people from the Greenville Township Committee here today: Mayor David Salkin and Thomas Cook. Thank you for your service. 